Are you using Facebook for your online business to get more sales? In this video, you learn how to get more sales using Facebook. Hi, welcome to Mami Negosyo's Business Tips number 3. Every time I do mentoring work in our DTI Negotia Center, mentees would ask for my help to increase their sales. And I ask them how they sell and why they have trouble selling their products. And they tell me that they post on Facebook, but only a few would buy. And when I ask them, where on Facebook do you post? Then they'd quickly tell me, in my personal account. Now, after hearing this, I knew right away they're doing it wrong. To understand this better, let's talk about Gurley, one of my mentees. Gurley sells mango juice concentrate in bottles. And hoping to get more sales on Facebook, she created an account using the same name of her company, which is Gurley's Mango Juice Concentrate Manufacturing. She'd regularly post beautiful pictures of her product. Even after many months of posting, no inquiries, no sales. What could be wrong then? Let's look into that one by one. Number one, Facebook users won't search for her as Gurley's Mango Juice Concentrate Manufacturing. So how would people search for that product when they haven't heard about Gurley? Even if Gurley's product is already a known brand like Sesto or Tan, people normally don't search for these products on Facebook. What more with a brand like hers that's not so well known? Number two, Facebook was not really meant for business. Mark Zuckerberg created it as a social networking platform. But don't worry, we can use Facebook to sell our products online. There's just a catch, so listen carefully. Facebook won't help us reach more customers just like that. Even if we post lots of beautiful pictures on our account or our page, that's it. Our post is only shown on our feed like any other typical posts. People won't search for our posts on purpose. So, to have a wider reach of potential customers, we need to make a page. And from that page, we can create posts and boost them or buy Facebook ads. This is a marketing strategy for users to see our products on their news feed. Here's what serial entrepreneur Gary V said about this. Facebook organic used to be the greatest thing in the world. It doesn't even exist anymore. It's an ad product. That's what Facebook wants. For us to pay them through boosting or to buy ads. And after we pay for the ads, that's when more people will see our product. Then people are now aware there's an existing product called Girlie's Mango Juice Concentrate. Now, Facebook ads don't come cheap. We're not even sure on our return on investment on the Facebook ads that we place. Even if people see our ads, not everyone will trust us right away because they know that it's only a Facebook ad. And if we post on our personal account, just like what Gurley did, only the people who know us or those who see our personal account will see our posts. Even if that is so, chances are people won't see our product posts unless we tag them. And if they buy, they do it once or twice out of camaraderie. But it's not because they really want to buy. Just like what Gurley told me, only my friends and relatives buy my product, Mami N. But if we always tag people, they will soon get annoyed and ignore us. You see, Facebook only likes communities or groups. You might ask, Mami Negosyo, what should I do? How do I use Facebook the right way for my business? Well, you can do that with these tips. One, answer the question, who are my buyers? Consider what you're selling. 
In this example, you're selling mango juice concentrate. You might say many people will buy from you, but are you sure? The best approach is to identify a small group that need your product. The people who will buy from you are your target market. Examples of these are the mothers and younger pupils. And usually, the young kids aren't used to going to the school canteen yet. Therefore, moms would let their kids bring their own drinks to school. Using this example, you can create a Facebook group for mothers. After that, you can start focusing your marketing efforts. Find out why they would buy mango juice concentrate. The likely answers you get are, number one, it's about convenience. Number two, it's easy on the budget. Number three, it's for health reasons because it has less sugar. So when you know what mothers look for in a drink, then you can point out these benefits in your product posts. But how will you reach the mothers? Are they always online? Are they on Facebook? And if your target is on Facebook, then do this next step. Number two, create a Facebook group for moms and invite them. Whenever a member reacts or comments on your post, Facebook sends a notification to all the other members. This attracts the group members to see the post. So, find ways to keep your group active. If you don't do anything, then there's nothing to expect. Number three, focus on creating value in your posts. Here's a rule of thumb. For every 10 posts that you do, only post one that's about your mango juice concentrate. The message should not be buy my product every day. The rest of the nine are different valuable posts that can help your members. There are strategies you can do for this. For example, you can hold a raffle. Ask the members to invite other members they know to win something. Another way is to have practical tips that mothers can really relate to. And as a result, Facebook will suggest your group to other users who might be interested to join. Then, more people, including strangers, will see your posts. This process is what we call organic growth. Therefore, when you have a good community, you might not even need to buy Facebook ads. You can use that money to grow your business. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Remember to subscribe to this channel for more business tips and join our community by clicking the link below to learn more. See you in the next video!